Hello, all of you being gloriously wonderful people, and welcome to... No. <laughs> this is a game about monitoring squirrels. That's right. It's a game about monitoring squirrels. Um, This is the first time I've launched. No, it's the second time I've launched. I think I did all this. Right. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, we should be just fine. Um, it's a small little game. Uh, not even two gigabytes to download. I've been wanting to check it out, though. Like, I played a little bit of the demo, um, and I've seen a short amount of gameplay, read a lot of reviews, and man, I, uh, I'm excited to try it out. I love quirky, weird little indie games. You are welcome, Ron. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. Uh, looks like the game might be a little bit loud. Can I get it over to OBS to fix that? Yes, can. Well, I was over in OBS, and it's not cooperating. Look, there we go. That's what I want. There we go. All right, we'll bump the volume down in the game just a smidge. Let me know if it gets too loud. Uh, I'll be giving away another PAL code um, soon on the system era, the official uh, Astro Discord. So I guess we were just dropped off by a bus because this is a bus stop uh, very muted colors except for red red must signify something of course i immediately go in the opposite direction of the arrow i want to see what's down here like maybe there's something cool like or maybe i can't get in there at all but we can see some scribbling on the wall. Uh, can I jump? Oh, that's crouch. I can jump. I can freeze. Hello, Blade Shadow. What is up? I can freeze. I can. That's it. That's all I can do. Oh, I can open up a, a journal. Change pages. Okay. It appears to be all we can do. So I guess we head down this path, huh? Yeah. Will the gate open for me? Okay, jump over the gate? Yes. Kind of jump through the gate, but we're going to ignore that. Um, yes, European road signs. The job. You will be researching squirrels in the Mammoth Forest. Researching squirrels. Okay. Got it. Ooh, a sign. Exciting, I know. Yes, that sign is exciting. It opened up my eyes when I saw the sign. Uh, visitors must be accompanied by a credit, uh, an accredited guide. No public hikes. Oh. Well, game over. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, we don't have an accredited. Uh, we don't have an accredited guide. I guess I'm allowed to keep going because I work here now. I mean, if I suddenly get mauled to death, you'll have your very own research care. My very own research caravan? No! Just what I've always wanted. Aren't squirrels like everywhere? Oh, hello. Yes, you'll be perfect. I'm looking at Who is who's with isolation? There's like an echo to her voice. Low expectations. I'm frankly completely confident in your suitability for the role. How is she talking to me? Okay, red stuff. Can't do anything with the red stuff. Can I pick anything up? You know me, I immediately ignore everything that I should be doing. Oh, oh, pick up. Pick up. Am I close enough to it? Pick up. It says press down, does it not? And that's journal. Uh. Uh, okay, well, I guess I can't pick that up right now. Um, can I ride the ATV? Yes, please. Uh, more gas tanks. Power. Oh, there's a generator over here, too. Okay, well, I picked that, I pulled that just by pressing A. Maybe I press A. Ah. 
the uh the canister is liar it was the shield tip was lying to me fill the generator it's a not down their uh, on-screen controls are incorrect okay so we fill the generator and i really don't know if that's a thing i have to do cool let's check out our caravan door how do i oh i heard scribbling uh hmm, the power's out but simon's mentioned simon's note mentioned a generator simon it's locked. Perhaps there's a key nearby. Is there a key? Hmm. A key, a key, a key. I didn't see any keys here. Why am I... Why can't I... Oh, it's a step. Chop. Oh. <laughs> Dude, well, I can't get over that. Okay, we'll go back around. We'll go back around. Did the game developer have a color monitor when he wrote this game? I believe so. Um, oh, I switched the wrong button to jump. It's it's very uh, very unique in its art style. Let's just say, no camping. Okay, uh, keys. Oh, wait. Aha, keys. Uh, keys. Hey, welcome to New Boots. I had to duck out for a bit, but here's the key to your new place. It'd be great if you could fire up the generator. There's this note. Hang tight, I'll be there. It's up to pick you up, Simon. Cool. Uh, put that away. No, pick up the keys. I want the keys. There we go. I think four people were involved in this game. Oh, they just automatically went in there. That's kind of handy. Oh, cool. Should I take those? Seems like I would want the keys. Guess not. Um, drop on fax this check and sheet to me once you're ready to get going. Am I ready to get going? Pan, gas stove, Instacam, mug. Oh, that's my mug. There you go. Uh, and the fax machine. So I guess we're ready to get going. Uh, cool. Cool. All right. Fun dream. It even vibrates. How cute. You made it. Uh, it's me, Professor Schultz. Anina. How was she talking to me earlier? If now we're on the... I'd like to make sure that everything's in the right place. Uh, you know, before we send you off into the wise. Can you look around and see if you find a camera in there? I already found it. Fantastic. Snap a photo for me, could you? Of the whole caravan? Yeah, sure. Uh, how do I get the camera out? Toggle camera up. Oh, no, that clearly wasn't right. Right. Okay. Um. So, oh. Hmm. Oh. She said of the whole caravan. Oh, that's cool. Like how this bit. I can't show you because I can't move the mouse. But like. Yeah, it's cool the way the camera works. So let's get a nice close up of it. And then take a picture. Ooh, okay. Uh, Nina wants me to fax her a photo. So, no, I want to select that photo. Okay, the same. Hi, journal is up, but select photo is up. Oh, I see those things on the... Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Where's my cursor? Okay. Got it. 
Uh, the things at the bottom aren't the D-pad, it's the freaking um, buttons. Oh, phone's ringing. Hmm. Looks like it's pretty much what I asked for. You cool. Never know with me, order. Okay. You Let's ordered my house the on the internet. All things going well, you'll be deep in the forest for a few months to finish the study. Simon, the logistics guy, We'll be there any moment. Yeah, he left me an out. He is a bit shy, so don't worry about small talk. Okay. Oh, sounds like he's there. Hold on to your hat. I hear it. I hear a motor. Can I, I, no, I want to hang up. I want to hang up. I'm being kidnapped. Work safely. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Cool. Fax me this sheet once you're ready to go. My caravan has changed colors. And hey, Wharf. So I've got some packing straps. I've got that. I've got a GPS device, which I can't pick up. Still have my pan and gas stove. Some hooks. Where did my mug go? Simon stole my mug. A chair. Sit down. Hmm. Okay. Put a light. Can I turn that on? No. Um. So then we've got like a TV and a computer and a printer and a trash can. Okay, cool. One, two, three. No signal. Use dial to switch channel. No signal used to house a channel. No signal used to house a channel. Damn it. Oh, okay. Um, so I can control the TV. No camera. Okay. Neat. No data. Okay. All right. All right. So I guess we... I, I, I just want to get a pizza real quick. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. Ooh, pizza sounds good. All right, fax this to Nina. It's incredibly fast fax. Nina again. Hope yes, hi, Nina. That shaky ride. <laughs> yeah, it was a little I scary. The quad only fits one. You'll get used to it. So, welcome to Mammoth Forest. He towed the whole thing with a quad bike? Here. Such peace and quiet. Yes, yes. Cash is transferred every Friday. Don't worry, we won't forget. I know it's not easy as a new grad. This game just came out of PC and Switch today. It's been in the Apple um, uh, arcade for a couple weeks. And the colors, this is the way the colors are supposed to be. It's just Nina again. Me again. Ah. The line cuts out sometimes, but I'll be quick. It's just the way the colors are. It's very odd. And I'll fax over the details of your first task now. There's a corkboard in the caravan for your research. Just pin it up there. I'll wait. Uh, first, let's check out the equipment left by our previous research. Still works. Just follow the steps. Find the mark location icon on GPS. Place the camera. Sit down. Hold record on the deck and watch for a squirrel. Press pause when your squirrel is in a view. Print the photo of the squirrel. Place the camera. Uh, so I guess I got to come back here and sit down. Okay. Oh, cool. I can just pin that. Gotcha. Okay. There you go. You can read back on this if you forget what to do. Now, can you see a small GPS device with an antenna? Yep. Your first task is simple. We just want to make sure the equipment... I dig the art style, though. It's kind of cool. Find the tree I marked on your GPS. Easy. Then, place a camera nearby. Yes, exactly. Pointing towards the tree. With that okay. done, you can head back to your research caravan. Once you're in position at home, hit record on the recorder, and then, well, we wait. When the recording is finished at night... Apparently okay, squirrels eventually have dynamite in this game. The squirrel on your TV, snap a picture, print it out, and fax it to me. Got it? What did squirrels do with dynamite? Take a few days to get used to the work, so don't worry. There's no urgency. You're all set? Great. Then we'll talk again soon. Oh, well, she's done to me. Okay. 
All right, then. We go, oh, hi, operations manual. Um, how to use. The Printer Reader Easy Series offers high quality printing. The press button now includes SyncWave integration for automatic large printing. Then receive files, drop a page on the fax max, and it'll automatically be sent to its destination. Uh, the Portacam SW50 will be your most faithful companion. Use handle to aim. Ultralight and portable television linked. Uh, the top number at the top shows you the channel. Oh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Got it. Okay. Um, the ultimate wireless sync wave play dock device capable of connecting and syncing up six different devices. Uh, use record buttons. All channels are synced with our revolutionary sync wave technology. And that's the end of it. There we go. Go to sleep. Oh. Hey, there's my mug. Let's, let's go hang it on a hook. Can I, can I hang on a hook? Can I hang the skillet on a hook? I just want to put things on hooks. Why? I don't know. Oh, we'll put it back in there then. We'll put it back. Okay, well, I guess we're putting it there. All right, let's go find the tree. No. Oh. I have a note. Uh, hey, new boots. This should be everything you'll need for the moment. Good luck with the research, Simon. Thanks, Simon. Uh, wow, that's a really tall box. Apple core, pick up. Drop. Apple core, pick up. Actually, no. Look, this is garbage. We, we put them in there. I can't. <laughs> they won't let me put them in the trash. All right, well, I don't want them in here. Uh, so, tree on my map. Anything else I want to look at over here? There's my generator. Uh, ooh, there's my toilet. Great. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a shower. What a nice little caravan I have. I get to poop and take a shower outside. Awesome. All right, tree marked with an X on my map. Um, how do I safely get out of there? Yeah. It's very hazy. Here, water. That must be our tree. That's our tree. Okay, so how do I switch to the camera? Oh, no, I don't want to take a picture. I, I want to put the camera down. How do I interact, lock view, journal, GPS, camera, dictaphone? I have a dictaphone. Oh, I can run. Um, how do I how do I put the camera down? I take a picture. I don't want to really take a picture. How do I put the camera down? Yeah, I don't know. Um, in Europe they are. Unfreeze. Did I not pick up the camera? Do I not have it with me? I have a flag too. I didn't even notice I had a flag. Did I not grab the camera? No, I have it. I mean, I took a picture. How the hell do I... Maybe I'm not close enough to the tree? I don't know. It was a puzzle game. Uh, maybe I gotta be right next to the tree. Maybe that's not the right tree. No, that's the right tree. I want to put it. That's the Instacam camera. Right? How do I? How 
How the fuck did I put the camera down? Look, tree. So it's not a one blinking over here. Maybe I haven't picked up something I need. Ah, there's more notes. Moving great. Aha, camera. Hooray. Okay. Got it. Oh, the viewfinder updates in real time. That's amazing. I figured it out. All right, so we will put the camera right here. And then what was that about how I pointed up and down? I don't remember. The handle, the handle. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, drag and aim camera. I'm assuming the tree, the squirrel's going to be up there, so. Yeah, I'm good with that. That works. Okay, so now my instructions are go back and wait. Can I interact with the flag? Pick up. Put it down. I can. Does that do anything on my GPS? Nope. Okay, so now we... Um, hit the record button. Night one! Oh, okay. Un unfreeze. Oh, sit, sit back down. Are we recording? Playback speed. Channel one. Enhance box. TV. Are we recording? Oh. Oh, oh, there was squirrels, there were squirrels. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Damn it. Wait, what was I supposed to do after I press pause when the squirrel's in view? Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Sit down. And play. Maybe I should have aimed it lower. Where'd he go? I know I saw a squirrel earlier. It gets 20 seconds of footage. There's that little bastard. Oh, oh. All right, uh, play slowly here. So fast forward, skip forward. Okay, good. And pause. Is that good? Is that going to work? Gonna find out. And uh, fax it. Let's see if she likes that. Whew. Seems everything okay, go, go. Okay. When I did this study 15 years ago, oh, did I forget to mention that? Yeah, believe it or not, Panorama tried the exact same bullshit back in ages <laughs> trying to get this damnable dam approved. I know. Oh, we're trying to build a dam. Now either, thanks to you. Anyway, oh, somebody else is trying to build a dam. I know the squirrels here take the same route every night, so I'm sure you can follow him easily enough. When we have the squirrel in frame at the end of the recording, print out a photo and send it over. Oh, and Simon mentioned something about dropping off some extra stuff for you. Maybe check outside. Simon's a creeper, dude. Cool. Uh... So... Figure out where the squirrel goes, place cameras, print a photo of the squirrel with the stash, back to Nina. Alright, I want my picture. I 
It's my keepsake. Right, I'm gonna put it in the journal. Um, no. Uh. Uh. <laughs> um, can I? Oh, it's in there. Okay, cool. Awesome. So now, uh, can I just put this in the trash? Not trash. It is trash. It's not trash. I can't. Okay. What if I fax it to her again? Aha! Mm, that's not what I'm well, for. shut up. I don't even see any you know, I just wanted to talk to you again. I'm lonely. It's, it's dark and... Can I just sleep? No. Alright. Day two! Oh, okay. Got Oh, more equipment. Uh, inspect. Uh, you know what they say, new boots, life is a river. You just have to let it flow. Life is a river, kid. You just gotta own this. Uh, looks like I let it flow a bit too much before there. Or too much there before. I forgot some stuff the first job off. I brought it to you now. It's Simon. Cool. Um, open another camera and then inspect. Nope, inspect. Uh, you're probably on top of this, but I forgot. But don't forget to take the TV inside. There's TV in there? Alright. Put this next to the other TV. Whoops. Oh my god, am I going to wind up with six TVs stacked up? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Alright, so I need to follow the squirrel. Oh wait, hold on. There's more stuff. Aha, pick up and perfect. I guess I guess now is as good a time as any to tell you what we're actually doing here. All right. The Viago Institute, the place we work for, performs impact studies. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Construction companies need to commission studies like this one to be legally permitted to build anything. And this one is commissioned by an entity known as Panorama Corp. They want to build a ludicrous five-star condo place here called Panorama Land. Panorama Land? And they tried something just like this 15 years ago. But my research into native squirrel habitats have to shut that down. Because our fluffy little squirrels are classified as an endangered species. So your work here could help to save... What squirrel is classified as an endangered species? They're like everywhere. I'm boring the ear of you. Let's get back to work. All right, how do I put the dictaphone away? Like that. All right, pick up camera two and... Where's where's the squirrel? Do I have to wait till I see him? Is that what the deal is? Hold on. I'm just going to place cameras for my photos. Maybe he won't, like, come out when I'm standing there? I don't know. Here, squirrel, 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 where are you? Where's this water? I hear water. Ah. Water. Alright, where's the damn squirrel? Hey, buddy. Let's be friends. I'm gonna go stand over here, pretend to be a tree. Because I have to follow you. Doesn't really give you a lot of direction on what to do next, does it? 
Yeah, maybe I have to go back in and wait till nighttime and follow him at night. Okay. So let's try that. Night two. Well, that's not doing any good. What if I go outside now? Now nah, it's daytime. Crap. Okay, well that didn't help. Um, did I get any footage? Where's this little bugger? I guess I didn't. Okay, so let's do a whole night. Are we recording? Yes. Where is he? So if I go outside, it becomes the next day. So basically, I'm going to have to track him a little bit. Wait, I could have just slide on the top of that tree. Yeah, there he is. Okay. All right, so he's making his way down the tree. So he should see him hopefully on camera too soon. Well, no, he's still coming down the tree. There he is. So down the ground and away from camera two. And then kind of over to the left of where camera two is pointing. And then we don't have sight on it anymore. Okay. All right. So he's got to reposition the cameras now. Easy. So what we'll do is we'll bring this one here. See where he goes down this hill. Cool. Oh. And then I think I'll leave this one here for the time being so that I know when it's coming down. Nah, let's go ahead and move it. Um, get a couple different views of it here. Like, he went this way, it looked like. So let's put camera two, like, here. Kind of towards camera one, but, like, watching this way. To see where he goes. Cool. Alright, let's go. So much to figure out. And we sit and we record. Night four. And we'll play back until we see him come across here. So we should pick him up on, there we go, on camera one. And then let's see if camera two picks him up. I thought I pressed it. I did, why is it, oh, there he goes. So he goes off to the right, actually, camera one, but then loops back around. There we go, we got him on camera two. Um, but then he goes off down over that hill, okay. So down over the hill from our camera two. Oh, 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 and then back down that way. All right, that's all we're gonna get for now. So then kind of to the left of where camera two is facing down that hill. Wow, this is a true detective work here. So camera two is facing there and he went down this way so let's put camera one here and i don't really know uh so when did the squirrels fly back i don't know but i know they have i know they like in the the steam page um trailer eventually they have dynamite <laughs> so all right, what I want to do here is basically have them both kind of over here. 
to see if he goes that way. So if he does, we can keep an eye on him for a little longer. But yeah, I, I know that the trailer like jumps forward in time and it's like, is that dynamite? What are squirrels doing with dynamite? But they never really, you know, tell you why they have dynamite. And yeah, cool. That generator should sure does last a while. All right, so I have a seat and record and play. What is that? Oh, it's my other camera. Okay. So we should see him coming across this way and then over that way. If I set this up properly. And I'm hoping he keeps going to the left so the camera too gets a good shot of him. Almost halfway through the night. Where is he? Does he go a different direction every night? Surely not. He's going to his stash. Well, did I not put these in the right place? Hmm. Don't there is. On camera two, he crosses. From left to right, so we had camera one a little bit off. So camera two passes left to right and then kind of disappears off of view, but then goes back a little bit. So if we move camera one kind of back there, that should be good. All right. <laughs> It's kind of fascinating, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't know how it is to watch, but it's kind of fun to play. So we know he winds up back this way. Kind of like back there somewhere. So let's put camera one like here. And maybe leave camera two where it is, or, 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 I don't know, I don't know. And bring camera two back over here and face it back to see how far he goes. Oh, wait, I found his stash. Found it, I found it, ha, 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 I found it. So do I have to get film of it, or can I just take a picture of it? Like, uh, oh. Can I just take a picture of it? Let's see if I can just do it this way. Without worrying with the another night. Ooh, it is getting warm in here with all these lights on. What's my problem with all these lights? Man, they put out some heat. Oh, I got lost. There we go. All right, so let's see if I can just faction this. Um, I need this picture. Yes, pick up. Cool, and can I just faction that? <laughs> you have seen a squirrel before, right? Oh, the squirrel has to be a, okay. I need to see one of those in the picture. All right, not a problem. What I need to do real quick is turn on my ceiling fan a little higher. Oof, top secret things, I've turned the camera off. There, let's see how medium speed does. All right, well, now we just have to sit here and watch him going to his stash. So, there we go. 9-6, it's taken me all this time to uh, figure out where this damn squirrel is. Alright, let's play it fast here. Towards the end of it, he should go right there.
Do, 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 do. Okay, it's cool. And then print. Right? Uh, print camera two. Oops. Hooray! Facts. In the middle of the night. Looks like this one doesn't go very far into the forest. Oh God! Hey, it's the middle of the night. Yes, it is. Go to sleep. I'll call you back in the morning. Yeah, I can finally go to sleep. Be woken up by the phone. Let's try something a little more challenging. We know All right. that some squirrels build their nests. Trays, a little bit further away from their nut stashes. Mm -hmm. According to my records, this one can go pretty far, so do be prepared for this task to take quite some time. I updated the location on your GPS. Good luck. All right, so. He's a tricky little fellow, and the stash can very well not be where you expect. Take a picture of your facts, it's Nina. So I don't need the squirrel in it. I just need the stash. Okay, do I have any new equipment? Or do I still have to do this with just two cameras? Oh, Jesus, I have to do it with still two cameras. Alright, that's fine. But you can handle that. Well, I wish I could carry both the cameras at once. That'd be kind of handy. All right, so let's grab camera two. Head over this way to the new location. And we're just going to put camera two right there. And just to get an idea of which way it goes, we're going to point camera one the other way. We're just going to have them both right there, side by side. Just to see where's this little bastard going. There's a fence here. Cool, so that's the tree. That is marked. Camera one's good. Camera two is good. So what is this fence? Is it like the border of the nature center or something? Must be. Can I go through water? I can. Just kind of want to look around for a minute. See what's where. Oh. Um. The fuck? Ooh, a cave. Found the dynamite! <laughs> oh, yeah. But, uh, lots of nuts, light, and matches. Um, what? What? <laughs> Wait. Why? Are, are the squirrels going to engage in a little industrial sabotage? I just want to look all around the boundary here. just want to get an idea of where everything is. Oh, it's becoming night. I should go back. All right, let's go back. Or maybe it's just really dark over here. Is this another cave? No. So our camp's up there. Cool. Well, this isn't a very big area. I mean, that's the sum total of it. All right, here we go. Let's figure out where this one's going. Set down. Record. And let's go. Let's just see which direction he goes. And then we'll figure out what to do from there. Uh, let's, let's slow down time here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Okay, come back, come back. I, I wasn't paying attention. So... Neither one of them caught his direction. So from camera one, he goes left. So that's easy enough. Day eight. Let's run. I keep forgetting I can do that. I don't know if I can die in this game or not. So from camera one, he goes left. So we will point this one like over there and then we're gonna get camera two and bring it on over to the towards the cave here and see if he comes over here like i bet he jumps across these rocks bet anything that's what happens uh okay i'm sure there's more stashes to find and stuff too all right cool 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 i have no idea how long this game is uh went the wrong way Oh, I just now notice there's a breadcrumb on the GPS. That's handy. I wasn't even paying attention to that before. And sit down. And record. And put this in fast motion. And we should see him go straight across that camera. And then hopefully camera 2 picks him up. So he disappears behind that rock. And I'm hoping camera two picks him up. Yeah, there he is. Uh, yeah, he goes pretty much straight away from camera two. Okay. Got it. Understood. Squirrels, nature simulation experts. So when I was a kid, well not a kid, I was a teenager. Um down in South Arkansas, we had uh so he kinda went up that way. Um we had a deck in our backyard and lots and lots of squirrels were out there. And uh I noticed that like there was this one that I kinda think he went let's see, where's camera one? So he kind of went to the left and then disappeared behind some rocks, like right here-ish. Um, so he's going to go in this cave here. That's not a cave. But anyways, there's this one squirrel that always came around at the same time every night. And uh, so I figured, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna try to tame a squirrel. So I would go out there every night at the same time, you can't jump over the rocks. And just sit there. You're doing nothing. Just sit there. Real still. Being very patient. You can't go over those. And, uh, did that for a couple weeks. Let the squirrel get used to the fact that I was there. I'm gonna put this one back here because I think this is where he goes. Um,. Yeah, every couple weeks just so he'd get used to me being there every night or every evening. It was like 6 30, 7 o'clock. And uh after a few weeks I put some peanut butter in a dish and left it out on the deck. And he caught scent of it pretty soon, but he never wanted to come up to it. But every night, every couple nights, I guess you should say. He'd get a little closer because he'd smell that peanut butter a little closer and a little closer a little closer until well, eventually he was up on the deck and then he would come a little closer and i never moved and he was there i never moved never talked to him didn't make eye contact no no i just kind of be there and finally after close to a month of that he actually took the peanut butter and it's sitting right next to me like literally like arms like the way down the the, the deck and I let him just eat peanut butter for a week. And then after a week, I reached down and just pet him real quick. And he freaked out and bolted, but then he came right back. Um, I guess when I didn't chase him or something, I don't know. 
Um, and he, he did. He, he stayed away. He barked at me for a little while. I've never heard a squirrel bark. Well, they bark. Um, barked at me for a little bit, and, and then he came back. Hustle! Thank you for hosting the stream, man. Uh, and so I waited a couple more days, and then I pet him again, and he didn't freak out. And I had a squirrel after that that I could just pet while he ate peanut butter. He wouldn't come up to me if peanut butter wasn't out there. But, uh, it was pretty cool. So I somewhat tamed a squirrel. By the way, Astronia merch. Astronia merch. There's stickers back there. I didn't order a bandana, stickers, or a patch. Uh, they were just in the water bottle. All right, so he runs right towards camera two. So now we've got to get camera one and move it that direction. Um, but yeah, I covered one of my boxes. I just used double-sided tape to attach to the sides and the bottom and the inside of the box. And then I kind of like the water bottle there in the background because it catches the light. I think it looks good. All right, so he's going to move camera one to face that opposite direction of camera two. I don't think we need to move camera two. Maybe we do, I don't know, we'll see. We'll look at it once we get over here. So camera two is over here, yep. Uh, you had to pay for your stickers and bandanas. Yeah, mine just appeared. I asked Gina if SES had anything to do with it, and she said no. Um, I'm like, did you guys, like, ask them to send me more stuff or something? Where was that cave? Your camera one? Which one's camera one? Okay, this one's camera one. So, where was the cave? I thought it was like right here. Had a couple bushes in front of it. Kind of like to. Maybe it's up. Maybe he has this. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the fence. Good job, Brandon. You got intrigued by the fence. And yeah, maybe he's got his nest up on top of rocks. Ah, here we go. This is it, right? No. Yep. This is it. No. Oh, the cave was right here. I swear that's where I went earlier. Was it here? No. No, oh, that's just more rocks. Where the hell was it? So you're camera one. So you're facing the way I think the cave is, so... Where's the damn cave? Where? Where did we find that cave earlier? Nope, that's just a crevice. Oh, damn it. I See, I've got so many breadcrumbs that... They're useless to me now. Where is this fucking cave? Ah, right here. Okay. So, that's not where that squirrel's going because camera two caught him running towards it, which is this camera two right here. So, obviously, this cave over here is not where this squirrel is going. Unless he goes all the way around. All right, well, let's then... Hmm, what do we want to do with camera two? I guess I'll just leave it there so we can see him coming. And not miss him that way if we know if camera one's not positioned right. Nope, I don't go to the X, I'm going to go here. 
I like the music in this game. It's very quiet, but it's really cool music. It's a very kind of... For a game about tracking squirrels, it's a bit haunting. You know what? Oh, a flag. Give him a flag. If I move this somewhere, does it get put on the GPS? No, it's just there to kind of wave at me. Okay. Mm. All right. Here we go. Let's throw this. Let's just throw that away. There we go. Let's throw that away. It's actually deleting stuff now. That's awesome. Whoops. Cool. Awesome. Cool. So now hit the record button. Night 10. All right, here we go. Uh, did my controller die? No, oh, where's my coach here? It's just suddenly moving very fast. So we should see him run at two and then away from one. This one could be tricky to finally figure out because of where all these rocks go. Oh, one's not pointed properly. Oh, no, one is pointed properly. So he goes out to the left of one. Does he go... Does he come back in view? No. Okay. So you kind of angle camera one to the left a bit. Damn squirrels. Being clever. All right, so camera one needs to be angled to the left a bit. So we're going to reposition it like here. Because it looked like he went that way. I'm going to put it up on this rock so I can get a decent view down there. And then we're going to take camera two and bring it all the way to the end here and see where it is he's going. Warfrat has entered lurk mode. Enjoy your lurking, my friend. They always kind of have the cameras pointed at each other. There we go. Sort of. This will give you a good idea of where he goes once he's in that little opening. So, back to the camper, caravan, whatever you want to call it. Can I clear the breadcrumbs on the GPS? No. I'm hoping I could. Sleep? Nope. Guess I can't sleep until I'm told to. Oh wait, hold on. Let's uh, let's do this. This was for that one. Done. Uh, this is no trash. Can I can I trash that? No, I can't trash that. I can pin stuff wherever. Okay, I don't have to put it on just where board. That's handy. All right. Let's see where this little bastard goes tonight. So we should see him come across camera one and then run straight ahead and then camera two should catch him coming toward it. And we should see him come this way and go down there. There we go. And now camera two. So from he goes off to the right of camera two. Okay. He may be the one going to the dynamite. I think it's kind of around that way. It's a big drop. So we need to move camera one. What did he go off to the right? Yeah, he went off to the right. We need to move camera one. Can I get up there and get it? Two here and see where he goes from here. Whoops, I didn't need to drop that. See where he goes from there and then we'll take camera two down here where I think he's going. In fact, I think he's going in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and set it up here. I think that's his stash. Are we going to uncover the mystery this quick? Is this like a two-hour game? Be a lot longer if I keep going the wrong direction back home. I don't 
it's more than a two-hour game for 17 bucks. I mean, it's $20 normally, but it's on its intro price of 15% off. All right, so we should see him run towards or across and away from camera one, and then hopefully he goes to where camera two is. If not, we'll have to reposition camera two to find out where he's really going. Should be seeing him soon. It was right around the 20 minute mark that we saw him earlier. Or maybe not. There he goes. And camera two gonna get him. Aha! Yes, gotcha. Little bugger. And oh, that's and then that's camera two. Brand that picture. Grab that. Wake her up in the middle of the night again. Because if I have to be up, so does she, damn it. What the? Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. It's dynamite. It's a scroll stash dynamite and matches. I mean, did the scroll plant that there or. or. or who? Maybe somebody's trying to get the scrolls to blow themselves up. Some things have changed since last time I was in Mammoth Forest. We'll have a work cut out for us. Getting to the bottom of this. All right. Cool. Ooh, loading. Day one. Oh, cool. So it's like different missions. Okay. Got it. Awesome. Are my cameras all still up there where they were? No, they're all here. Oh, I have three cameras now. Let's read all the notes. Uh, I was hoping to get you some more gadgets, but it all got booked by the tier brigade, you know. You know what those guys are like. This camera will get the job done, though. I used them for trout research last summer. Cool. Uh, any other notes? So we got a new TV and three cameras. Open, open, open. And open. Take the TV inside. Pop it down there. Cool. And then, apparently I've been messy. Let's, let's clean up here, hold on. Can't recycle that. Hmm. Can I cook? Like, can I open that and cook? I can't really do anything with it. All right, well, let's fax this to Nina. I'm ready. That's like, that doesn't even beep and she's calling me. Great. I'll tell you, that man works harder than any of us. You know, the reason he needs to get out of the forest early every day is to go to his other job, cleaning after hours at a restaurant. Why is that a question mark? I'm glad you're both so invested in the success of our project. Speaking of, are you up for another task? You're in another squirrel's habitat now. No. Oh. female we suspect to be pregnant. And okay. we know where she's stashing her winter supplies. Hold on a sec. What? So we're just giving up on the dynamite? Yeah, that's everything. I've sent you the mission briefing and calibrated your equipment. And I've marked the squirrel's last known location on your GPS. Take a photo of the squirrel's staff. Okay, so I just have to find out where she goes at night and then await extraction. Do we have any new stuff in our manual? No. Okay. Alrighty then. Camera one. Oh, this is trickier terrain. Camera one goes right here. So she must come out of here somewhere. Where's that tree? I don't think it's this tree. No, it's definitely the cave. So we'll drop camera one there and tilt it downward. And get a view of where she goes that way. And then we'll grab camera two. 
fix that a generator. And we'll point camera two. Let's see if she goes that way. Or camera three, sorry. Uh, we'll see if she goes that way. And then camera two. We'll see if she goes this way. And that should give me a pretty good view. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, you know what? I'm going to see if I can't just find your stash on my own. <laughs> Since I found that dynamite on my own last time, if I can just know where it is and... Oh, this is a really tricky train, though. If I just know where it is, I can just go straight to it. And I have to worry about all these extra nights. Oh, a tree house. I bet anything it's up there. Um, can I get around on this rock? Get up. Yep. This is a much bigger area. Oh, it's boundary. Hmm. Oh, okay, I can go that way. Cool. Barely, like the edge of the rock is my boundary. See, there's her stash right there. That's totally it. So, a mother squirrel that has a tent. So, if she goes this way, then I know I'm right. Alright, cool. Can I get up higher anywhere else? Nope. Not as high as I can get. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let's uh, head back. It is dark in these woods. Let's see if my theory is correct, if she goes that direction. So basically, we're hoping that camera three here, or camera one, I got camera numbers, all that stuff. We're hoping that we can see her go in that direction, and then back that way. Here we go. Have a seat. Hit record. And hit play. Where is she? All right, there she goes. Yep. So camera two, she went off to the left. All right, that's all I need to know. Which one's camera two? Uh, you're one. Wait. How was it on camera two she went off to the left? Was it camera one she went off to the left then? Was I looking at that wrong? Can I replay that? Can't replay it, really. Alright. Oh, I can zoom in and out. That's cool. Can I move them? It doesn't appear so. It's on channel 3. Let's put it back on channel 1. Oops. I can't move them. Well, shit. Which one did she go off to the left on? I don't remember. I thought it was this one. I'm going to say it was this one. It looks like she hopped over this way. So we're going to put this one here. And leave that one there. And then we're going to move this one just to be sure of where she goes. Kind of facing right here. Cool. And that should confirm the direction she goes. Since I wasn't really paying attention. Oops. Night two! All right, so she comes out on two. So she comes out on two, and then... Neither one or three see her. Okay. So she just appears behind a rock that two can see.
Which one's two? I forget which one. That's one. I guess I could look on, you know, my map since it tells me two is still up there. What? So she oops, disappeared to the left on a rock that two can see. Like right there, she just went that way. Why did that camera not see her? Is there somewhere back here she can go? No, because then that camera wouldn't see her. So yeah, she she basically disappears behind this rock. So why did that camera not see her? God damn it. All right, then. Um, I'll put this thing right here. So there it can see where camera one is, right? I don't want to see camera one on this viewfinder. Well, that's where we're looking at. So cool. So I should just go off to the right there and then camera one over here. So she goes that way. I think. And record I feel like my microphone is miles away. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> Pro streamer it took me an hour and 14 minutes to realize my microphone was behind my monitor. I bet that sounds much clearer now, doesn't it? All right, so she's gonna come out and go to the left. We should see her camera three as well, where she should go to the right, which is her left. And then hopefully camera two, we'll see where she goes after that. Yep, there she is on. So she goes right in front of what, camera three? All right, so camera one can see where she's headed. Cool. So she disappears behind that rock. Does she reappear? No, so she just finds disappears behind the rock that camera one can see. All right. So this is camera one. Let's grab camera two. Let's get these in order here. So I'm not getting confused as which to which. Which is which. I will English here in a minute. No, pick up the camera. There we go. So camera one saw her go that way and disappear like behind this rock so we want to get this like here and tilt it down some cool that works and then we'll put camera three back this way a little bit farther just in case she comes really far back this way where's that tree house i don't know let's put camera three like here. Can't put it down there. I can put it down there, though. I can't see my viewfinder. There we go. Cool. So now we've got a pretty clear view. We know she comes to here. So if she jumps up on one of these rocks that camera three can't see, we'll know. And if she just continues on through, we'll know that as well. Have a seat. And record. And play. Come on. There we go. So. Camera one. There we go. And then camera two. She goes through there. And camera three never sees her. So she disappeared. Down into those rocks there. Right there. And camera three never sees her, does it? Let's just go ahead and let it run all the way out. See if she appears on camera three at all. So she jumps in right about there. 
Oh yeah, she doesn't come up with camera three at all. Alright, uh Get her back on camera two here. All right, so she jumps in before the tree. All right, so we'll move camera one to see that spot. So that is like, oh, there is a little clearing right here. Okay, all right, cool. So we should see her go down here for camera one. Let's tilt it down though. There we go. And then camera two, we will bring back this way. Uh, so we can tell if she comes through here. Cool. And then camera three, I'm not really sure where to put it. But we know that this was a terrible spot. I didn't even notice this little bit right here. So we'll put this just facing the other way. Like right by camera two. I can't get around camera two. It's as close as I can get those together, really. I can get those closer, can't I? Oh, I gotta be facing the way I want to put it. Okay. Get right up against this camera. Drop it. That'll work. And then we'll be able to see which direction she goes from there. Which... I don't know. This is just another more rocks. This is more rocks, more rocks, more rocks. So she's got to go off this direction. All right, back to the camper. Keep forgetting that I can run. Pregnant squirrels are clever. They don't want to be tracked. All right, record. And speed this up. So we should see her dive or come across camera one, welcome back, warp, coming towards camera two, and then away from camera three, we'll figure out where she goes, good, 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 pause, 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 go slower, slow down, I saw her go to the right, okay, so she goes to the right, let's see if she circles back and around, if we see her at all again, mm-mm, Okay, so camera three, she goes to the right of. Cool. Here we go. We'll put camera one. Whoops. It'd help if I go to where camera one is. We'll put camera one. Kind of looking that way to get a view of where she goes from here. And then camera two, I'm gonna bring over to here. So camera three never saw her. Camera three can see all of this. So she must've stayed down low. Is that her nest? No, I can't get in there, so I'd never be able to get a picture of it. Just trying to see if I see anything obvious nearby. Think she's going to come down through this way? I'm going to find out. We're going to put camera three down here. Let's just see if she comes down this way or not. Actually, let's put camera three... Like over here, so if she goes that way, we can see where she goes. Yeah. That's the play. Though that would just really have her looping back on herself. Which I don't know. Or 
Baby squirrels aren't smart enough to know they've just gone in the circle. Sit down. Look, dude, sit, sit, in, the, sit in the damn chair. There you go. Night six. So. Let's see what we see here. Oh, she jumps up. Clever little squirrel. All right, so she jumps up there. So I bet two and three are never going to see her. Okay. Oops. That's fine. We can move two and three. Let's grab two. So one sees her go up right there. So I need to get this camera up there. How am I getting it up there? There we go. So this should catch her coming up. And then her options are to go here, which is kind of a dead end, or there. But again, that's going back the way she came. She's going to climb a shit ton of rocks up and down, you watch. Um, jump. So where should I put this one? I guess up here as well, just to see, like, there's an alternate view of this. Wait, I moved the wrong one. No, I didn't, because we know she jumps up here. Oh, I did move the wrong one. I wanted to leave that one where it was. I want to leave one down here to get that view of her jumping up. It's three I want to move. There we go. And then we'll put three up here. No, 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 no. I hit the wrong button, that's all. Okay, we'll put three up here. See if she goes... That way, I guess. Doo -doo -doo. The Habit of Squirrels. Playing a game about videotaping squirrels. This is what my life has come to. All right, arm's going to sleep for some reason. Shake it out. Shake it out. Also, I have a bit of a headache. I'm going to take something for that. Eat a little smack roll or something. I haven't eaten since like two o'clock. And it's what's my favorite migraine medicine? It feels like this could turn into migraine, so we're just gonna nip it in the bud. If it'll come out of the damn pack, oh, the do not eat was in the way. Do not eat. Or maybe I just need some water. It's a possibility too. I have a little Debbie's cherry cordial. Mm. Chocolate and cherry flavor. These always make me want moon pies though. Vanilla or chocolate, don't really care. I give me a nice sugar high. All right. Let's. Well, why is it getting so finicky sometimes? Here we go. Let's see what's what here. So we should see a scrabble up on the rocks around what the fifteen minute point. Is that where it was? Um, eleven minute point. Okay. 
so up on the rock so hopefully two is gonna catch her coming up it's quite the jump do you get catching her coming up she goes out of frame to the left on two comes in on three and where are you gonna go from there to the right which is back where she came from you gonna jump down yeah it looks like she jumps down okay you know what? let's just go ahead and let that play see if we can we see if she like okay good that's i'm glad i let it play so she jumps over to the next rock and then off to the left from where three can see all right So we'll grab camera one. And we'll jump up here, kind of get an idea of where camera three can see. Are you three? You are. So that was like that tree over there. How do I get up there? Over here, maybe? Yeah. Yep, yep. So three saw her come right up this way. So we're going to put this one like here. She jumps the rock and the beeps through starship. Aliens. Squirrels are aliens confirmed. I still think she's going there. I, st I really do think that's where she we're going to wind up seeing her go. All right, so we'll put one there. That'll capture it coming up. I think it's funny when squirrels bark. We have a bunch in our backyard. And every time a dog goes back there, they bark at her. It's kind of adorable. Right now I want camera two. You camera two? Yeah. I'm sure it was a better route to get up there. So we know she went off to the left. So what I want to do is get this aimed that way. Ah, oh, so I'm gonna be able to make that jump. No such luck. And then with camera three. I don't know what to do with camera three. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see her going that way. No. That way. Because when that was all over there, she scampered off to the left. So what I'm gonna do is jump up here with this one and see if I can't put it down up here. Yeah, I can, good. And we're gonna aim that around here. Oh, can I? There we go. Just for an alternate view, kind of down there. Just in case she stays in that little valley. All right, here we go. Day number whatever, or night number whatever, nine, I think. I think so. No, oh, sit in the chair. There we go. Another little bite of cherry cordial. I am actually very hungry. I know that wasn't a little bite, so what? So as soon as we see her, we pause. It should be coming up. And she comes. So you jump up. Cool. And then we go slow speed. Uh, oh, there's two squirrels. Mm, now I know who got her pregnant. Wait, which one is she? I'm going to make sure I don't follow the wrong damn squirrel. 
which is this one, right? Yeah, she's that one. Okay. So she is that squirrel. Make sure I don't get confused with Squirrel's Witch here. Oh, God. Now there's three squirrels. Squirrel party. Where are you going to go now? In the tape. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? End of tape. Oh, God damn it. All right, get camera one. Uh, your two. So, we know they go like right here. There's like the squirrel party happens right here. So let's uh, point that down, like right there. And then camera two. I don't really know what to do with camera two. Uh, I mean, I guess she could scamper down off of this. So we're going to set camera two aiming up like that. To see if she goes that way. And then we're going to reposition camera three. We're going to leave it here, but we're just going to re-aim it. Oh, we'll put it back down because I still think that's where she's going. All right. And record. And watch Squirrel Party. So she's going to be the one with her back to us. There she goes. All right, wait. Where's the Squirrel Party? Yes, it's... Oh, no, she's that one. Where's the rest of the squirrel party? Crap, which one is she? Was she did she arrive second or third? I think it's that one. I think it's her. We're at the end of the tape again. But How do I can't record anymore? Is that is that it? I don't that's not a stash though. I want to see what she says about the squirrel party. Wow, that's surprising. They don't usually congregate like this. This is actually far more interesting than the data we've been asking you to gather, but I'm not quite sure what it means just yet. Actually, can you think of a way to find out where those other two are coming from? Yeah. If find out where they start their route, I can add them to our system for future research. That's easy. All right. Hang up. All right, we'll find out where the black one's coming from first. Um, oh, no, that was quick. So the black squirrel comes in on camera one from... Straight where it's looking. So we just need to spin camera two around. See where that one's coming from. Um, and then the white squirrel. Uh, let's just check the black one for now. Yeah, let's just check the black one for now. Or gray or whatever. I don't know. Colors are really subject to interpretation of this game. Wait. Shit, I don't know which cameras I was going to move. Fuck. So he came in from the right of this camera, right? 
So he came in this way. Now she comes in that way. Fuck, uh, I don't remember. I forgot already. Oh man. This is I wish you could play this back in the daytime, but you can't. Alright, let's just re-record and wait, 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 wait. Get up, get up, phone's ringing. What? Hey there. Look, I just found out something really weird and needed to tell someone. Simon didn't pick up and he's not really the most chattery bird in the cage anyway, if you catch my drift. So you know how our study seems to be so well funded? Mm -hmm. Like how I have way more money now than I did 15 years ago? I mean, it's not like I'm rich, but I could hire you at least. Well, it turns out that it's not Viago being generous. They've actually received a donation from an unknown source. No, my bosses wouldn't give me any more information, but it's weird, right? I hope... well, I hope it's not weird in a bad way. This game is getting really dark. World parties and... Alright, we just gotta see where that squirrel came from. I don't know which direction he came from. It was all on camera one. So one of them comes back there from by the tree. And there's our squirrel. I think. No, that's another squirrel. There's our squirrel. So yeah, the, the black one comes in. Yep, from the right, just behind camera one. All right. I was right. It just, when I got over there, I was like, wait, that can't be right. It just didn't look right. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Okay, so he comes in from behind this camera. But she does too, doesn't she? Well, whatever. Um, so give me this so we can see where he's coming in here and then camera two I'm gonna put down here to see if he's scurrying up these rocks yeah it'll work that's a good spot and then camera three I don't really know where to put camera three. Wish I had a way of tagging which one's which. Uh, camera three. Well, we, let's just leave camera three where it is because we know one comes from over there. Um, actually, we saw it come out from over there. So let's go a little bit further and see if we just can't catch one of them coming out from right here. I bet we can. I'll put that down. I bet she comes down that tree right there. But we're no longer looking for a stash. We're looking for where they come from. Mommy, where do squirrels come from? Do do do. On a mommy squirrel and a daddy squirrel love each other very much. Um. Okay. So, camera one and two are tracking black squirrel. I think camera three is going to show us where our other white squirrel friend comes from. Squirrel friend. <laughs> uh, or not? Hmm. I guess my theory was wrong. Interesting. Okay, so... Black dude just jumps in from left of frame. Like, from over there, I guess, on two. Or no, 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 okay. Yeah, he came in left of frame and then scattered that way, and then here he comes in, yeah. And that's Squirrel Party. 
and we didn't see but i know we saw one coming from back there earlier all right left a frame on two so he came in from over there up there somewhere so i'm gonna leave that camera as is and reposition one because uh, it didn't really do anything for us. I'm going to put it here and see where he's coming from that direction. And then I guess this one down here will aim a little lower, see if she's coming from somewhere down here. So I know I saw that squirrel come down this direction. Like, let's put this one here and get a shot of just this little passage here. All right. So much mystery in a game about squirrels. I mean, it's really repetitious. I mean, but at the same time, like it, at least it goes quick. You know, you're not sitting here at this thing for, you know, 10, 20 minutes. It takes just a few seconds. All right. So what do we see here? Open three catches the other white squirrel. And one and two should catch the black squirrel. There he goes. God, where is he coming from? So he just briefly crosses right to left on camera one. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. He was there. Though. I just didn't see him. All right, so on camera one, he where are you going? There you go. Can I, I can't zoom in after the fact, can I? I can. Sweet. So you can't move them. But you can enhance them. Okay. So. Keep rewinding here. So he jumps up that rock. Okay. And then comes pretty much straight towards camera one. And then we see him briefly on camera two. Right? Yeah, as he makes the jump. Okay. All right, so. At least we know where he comes from. Over there on that rock on that we can see on camera one. When does this dude sleep? Like, seriously, like, when when does our protagonist here ever sleep? So, we know he comes in from that direction. But where over here, we don't know. So, we're going to set this to look that way. And we're going to set camera two up there as well to look this way I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to come from somewhere over there but I guess there's a couple different views and what I'm going to do with camera 3 is get it back up there at the squirrel party and see where she comes in from Squirrel. Whoops, I accidentally dropped camera three. So I pressed the wrong button again. X to jump, B to jump, B to jump. A puts things down. So the squirrel party takes place right here. I swear I saw her run down through there when we had that camera placed there earlier. All right. 
Let's see what we can see. Sit and record. And put this here. So let's see where our friend the black squirrel is coming from. On one and two. Barely get a glimpse of him. Uh, go slower. All right, so two barely caught him in the bottom left corner, and then he comes in on the bottom right corner of one. Okay, that's helpful. Bottom right corner of one. Where is he? There we go, bottom right corner of one, and he briefly crosses the bottom left corner of two. Now let's see where this friend is coming from. Because our squirrel will have her back to us in the squirrel party. Ah, you come from the right. I could have swear I saw you come in from way out there. All right. So she comes in from the right. Okay. So bottom left corner of one. No, bottom right corner of one. Bottom left corner of two. And then from the right on three. Right one, left two. Right one, left two. And then here, I want to move this because she comes in from somewhere over there. Put it down. And no, 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 grab the. There you go. So she comes in that way somewhere. Or he, I don't know. I, I'm not an expert in squirrel gender studies. Gina! You like the new lighting situation? It's just an extra light over there. Also, though, I've got that. There's I, I'm backlit a little bit better because you can't see it. Let me see if I can get the camera to go that way. Ooh, come on, come on. I know you don't like this. Oh, yeah, there goes the HDMI cable crap. No camera. <laughs> yeah, my HDMI cable is a little wonky. So I can't get that all the way over there. Oh, well. Oh, come on, HDMI cable. Cooperate. Oh, God. See, my HDMI port on my camera is not the best. Oh, God. Did we just break the camera? Hope not. Well, the HDMI port's always been a little bit loose. Um, there it goes. But I never could exchange it because nobody ever had them in stock. I figured if it never went out, I could always just warranty it. It's going to do that every time I move it. But then we'll get it back here in a second as I adjust the cable. But there's a lot of play up here in the HDMI port on the camera itself. It's just a matter of waiting until it realizes it's plugged in and it comes back on. Uh oh, did I just completely break it now? What's wrong with the mic? Is it loud? What's wrong? What's up with the mic? It looks fine on my end. Tell me what's wrong with it. Is it too loud? Is it... What's up? Sounds worldly and distorted. Here, just listen. Okay, hold on.
Okay, how's the mic now? Still working on the camera, but I can't tell if it's off or on. No better. Well, nothing I did should have impacted the mic. No, I can't hear it, so I don't know. Where is it that I can monitor my own mic? There it is. I want to hear if I can hear it too. Oh, it's fine for me. I don't know if that's causing an echo or not, but it's perfect for me. Ooh, that's frustrating. Um, well then, hold on. Online. Um, no, I heard, I heard the earbuds. Um, I mean, I heard the clip you made. I don't have any other headphones on these. This is it. Um, where's the other crappy headset? Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. All right, I have a headset plugged into my laptop. And it sounds fine. Sounds fine. I can hear an echo, though. It's too loud. Okay, so I did nothing. I did absolutely nothing. I switched scenes. Now let's see if I can figure out the camera. I guess switching scenes was enough. Just unplug the HDMI cable here. Oh, I can switch back to game. Sounds fine to me. 
Uh, where the hell's the H dot port? Can't see. All right, plug the camera back in. See if we can get camera. Did I just completely hose my HDMI port? Come on, camera. Are you on or are you off? I can't really tell. All right, hold on. You gotta look behind the camera, see what's up. Oh, and I just unplugged my headset. <laughs> Hey, welcome to troubleshooting the live stream. When things go wrong. Uh, you know, my cam link is even. I got this light on. I know it sounds like I'm really far away because I walked kind of far away. All right, plug that back in, get the cam link reinitialized. Um, well, it point. That's a good sign, I guess. Let's see if uh, this does anything. Camera. I know I sound really far away because I'm really far away. Yes, I know there's a lot of logic in that statement, wasn't there? I just can't get this to come back on. I don't have another micro HDMI cable. Come on. Yes, I'm far away again. We're going to fix this, damn it. It really bothers me that it's not working. Are we in movie mode? Yes, movie mode. Well, it's registering on the cam link that I'm turning the camera off and on. But nothing. Well, shit. Well, just work. So how is everybody? It looks like it's trying to connect, but it's not working. The camera keeps blinking. Like the display on the back of the camera. You're good, Worf? I can see my screen, my monitor. So... That's where the camera always is. Just unplug everything, replug it. Camera off. You're shopping? What you shopping for? My birthday stopped till October. You don't have to shop this early. Why is this suddenly loose as well? I know you guys can't see a thing, but you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. I promise. Maybe we might have to continue without a camera. All right, memory call, movie mode, nothing. Son of a bitch.
Hmm. No clue. I think the HDMI port just died. I can't figure out anything else but that. Like, it, the camera's flashing every once in a while, like the display, like it's supposed to, when I plug things in. But then it doesn't just say that it's on battery. I didn't unplug the battery today. So I've got one of those dummy batteries. No, it's fine. All right, I'm gonna do a thing here, guys. Bear with me. Take the camera completely off of the mount if I can. It's not wanting to swivel. It sucks. I hate troubleshooting. All this because I tried to show off a light bulb. Where is the release for this? There we go. If you're wondering where I am, I'm like over to the left of the microphone. Over here by my desktop, like behind the camera. What I want to see is if I can see any damage to the HDMI port. No, it looks fine. HDMI cable looks fine. All right, let's just try this handheld real quick. See if I can't get it to come on at all. I got the camera's on, but I can get it to go to the cam link. Come on, battery door, stay closed. I also still hear myself in the echo because I still have my laptop headset on. Hmm. Thought we had it there for a minute. Nope. Let me try reinitializing the cam link. Does nothing either. Oh well, we're just gonna have to continue without a camera for now. I'll have to figure it out later after the stream. Maybe it's time to RME the camera. So we can just turn that off. Oops, we don't need that. And swatch back, swatch back, switch back to my desktop headset. Could also be that OBS is having problems. All right, back to the game. What, now you're not going to capture a game? Come on, OBS. Oh, there he goes. Cool. Now it's weird not having a camera. Um. Wait a second. Did it start me all over? I have no game audio. Like none. Oh, crap. All right, restart the sound driver. Hmm. 
Now do I have game on you? No. Do I have this still set up right? Did something go weird there? And we're still sending it out to the headset. Headset didn't come unplugged, did it? Well, it's plugged into the DAC, no doubt. But I have no game out of you. Well, ain't none. And there should be audio here. And I can tell that you guys have game audio, but I don't. What the actual fuck is happening? Um, I need to see what it's capturing. Yeah, voice speaker aux. Voice speaker aux. And that's what I'm monitoring as well on my headset. Maybe it screwed up in voice meter. Can I have voice meter open, please? No? I think voice meter's crashed. I think that's my problem. I can't get it to do anything. All right, well, exit the game again. Sorry, guys, I know this is not what you came here for, but I want to get my audio working. Cast manager, but anything. Now, this might mess up the audio for just a minute. Where the hell's voice meter? Why does it say not responding, but it's clearly not responding. So let's just end it. Now we will rerun it. I shouldn't have done anything to my mic because my mic just comes straight off the Yeti. It doesn't go through voice meter at all. There, okay, so. Oh yeah, my I know my outputs are going where they should go. Um yeah, this goes to A2, which A2 is my full of shit. Or my shit full of however you want to call it. Let's see if I have any audio here real quick. Let's give you a preview of uh, the upcoming. Oh, do I not have it uploaded? I could have swore I had next week's Astroneer already uploaded. It's edited. Um, then let's just watch my Rockstar News video. See if I have any audio. This ad on your own channel thing is ridiculous. But of course, since I have ad blocker, it just says this. Hello, all of you being gloriously Cool, I have audio. audio. And you guys got to hear me twice. So you actually, no. You go away. Make sure you're still running. You are. Close that. Third time's charm. Back to the game. Hey, game audio. So, yeah, voice meter crashed, too. You know, why not? Everything else is breaking tonight. Uh, let's turn off display capture because it runs better on game capture. And it probably got a little laggy there as I was all tabbing it out, but we should be fine now. Well, it's taking a minute. Something is really draining my system resources. Like, a lot. Something is draining my system resources a lot. Because I'm having horrible, horrible frame render times. Mm. 
That all is normal. I mean, everything looks normal. I mean, when, this might be a little high. But like, my average time to render frames is struggling and everything. What if I go straight up just display capture and don't do game capture? Nope, still struggling. We'll switch scenes and see if that helps. It's fine with the stream or the scene with nothing in it. I'm going to put a beer right back and see what happens. And it's fine there. It's just fine there. And now it's fine here, too. Oh, wait, nope, nope, there it goes. What the fuck is happening? Like, it's causing it to have rendering and encoding lag. All right, guys, we're going to do a thing here. Oh, now display capture doesn't want to work. Oh, wait, I want to turn off the wrong one. There we go. I'm going to real quickly stop the stream. I am going to restart my computer uh, and see if I can't get things uh, sorted out. My computer restarts pretty quick, so don't go anywhere. And I'll put in chat when to refresh uh, so that you know when I am back live. So I will be right back. No mic. You don't hear a mic. What? Jeannie hears a mic. She said seems good. Um, so I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. 